probit analysis this is appropriate introduction probit um, it is the combination of probability and unit hope that you see probability and unit what do you mean by probability probability tell us uh, how often some events will happen after many repetitive trial that means it has two options zero for impossibility of the event and one for possible or certainty of the event the probit actually um, type of regression analysis so this analysis makes a relationship between two variables i'll show you next the unit of this uh, this is the binomial response. Binomial response means it has um, it has two possibilities, like uh, yes, no, true, false, male, female, positive results and negative results of disease. This type of regression analysis. So, this analysis establishes relationship between two variables. One is dependent variables and independent variables. Dependent variables, your result of experiment. Remember this. And this value always goes through y-axis. This is the dependent variable. And independent variables, the affecting fact, that means um, value of x-axis. Like um, if you want to um, try to find out the effects of con sample concentration on person mortality of uh, cancer cell, this is the concentration dependent variable, experiment conditions. It may um, temperature, pressure, other factors that are required for your experiment, all are the independent variables. You control this. Okay, and the result of these experiments are dependent variables. So, probit analysis establishes the relationship between two variables. This regression actually explained by this equation y is equal to bx plus a, that means um, b for slope and a for y intercept and this is the y y that means uh, y value uh, independent value and x for uh, independent value the next one okay thanks to professor Feeney 1952 because um, he took bliss idea and um, I wrote a book like COVID analysis it's very important it's available in online you can read these books and in 1952 this professor made a Table is called transformation of percent value, percentage of your result to probit. You can easily use this table to convert our percent result to probit. I'll show you in next video how to use this table uh, to convert your percent uh, values, percent mortality, percent cell uh, proliferation uh, inhibition uh, to probit. I'll show you next. And the next, uh, oh yes, thanks, Professor Bliss. Bliss in 1934. Um, he was an entomologist and in biological assay this method probit analysis is the preferred method okay and this professor when um, did a research and tried to find out the effective pesticides to control insect that insect feed on grape leaves yeah after experiment, this professor plotting response of insects to various concentration of pesticides, he could visually see that these pesticides affected the insects at different concentration. This is the response of his uh, experiment. But he didn't have any statistical method, sound methods to compare between pesticides. Okay, because uh, this is the relationships this relationship of response to dose was sigmoid in nature this is the sigmoid in nature yeah like s sigmoid in nature but um regression was only used on linear data this analysis the previous regression analysis okay this is the used for on linear data only only so this is the problem so um, Dr. Uh, Professor Bliss uh, developed an idea that is the transforming this sigmoid curve to the linear straight line curve like this. He con developed this idea just transform this sigmoid curve to the straight line curve 
and then use the straight line equations for calculating LC50, ED50, LB50 for your sample. And can, then you can easily compare the potency of your um, drugs, potency of your uh, sample, different sample concentration. Yes, methods. And here we use these um, three methods. One is, well, at first we have to calculate the probit, probability, there's a probit from your percentage result. Okay, I'll show you next in next video how to use this table, how to transform your percent value to the probit using MS Excel. I'll show you next. Yes, so to convert, to transform your um, sigmoid graph to the straight line graph, at first you have to uh, transform your concentration to log concentration and then make a graph, the probit versus the log concentration. Then we get this straight line equation, straight line um, equation. This is y is equal to um, bx plus a, like this. This is the slope value and this is the y-intercept. You can use this equation for calculating L50, 